Many people around the world discover unusual stones while digging, traveling, or buying from local markets and immediately wonder, is this a real rough diamond or just an ordinary stone? Before visiting a gemologist or a professional laboratory, there are a few basic home tests that can help you make a first evaluation. One of the most popular and talked about methods is the sandpaper test, also known as the hardness test. This article explains how to test a rough diamond at home using sandpaper, why this method works, how to perform it safely, and how to interpret the results correctly. Why the sandpaper test works. The sandpaper test is based on hardness, which is one of the most important physical properties of diamonds. Diamond is the hardest natural material on earth. It ranks 10 on the Mohs hardness scale. Almost all other stones, including quartz, glass and crystal, are softer. Because of this extreme hardness, a real diamond cannot be scratched by sandpaper. Softer stones will show scratches, powder or surface damage. This makes sandpaper a useful preliminary test for rough diamonds. What you need for the test. To perform this test at home, you only need a few simple items. Coarse sandpaper. Grit 80 to 120 is ideal, the suspected rough diamond, good lighting, a clean cloth, steady hands and patience. Important, always test on a small edge or non-visible corner of the stone to avoid unnecessary damage. Step by step, how to test a rough diamond with sandpaper. Step 1. Clean the stone. Wash the stone thoroughly with water and dry it with a cloth. Dirt or mud can hide scratches or give false results. Step 2. Choose the right spot. Select a sharp edge or small corner of the stone. Never rub the main face if the stone looks valuable. Step 3. Rub against the sandpaper. Hold the sandpaper firmly and gently rub the stone against it using light to medium pressure for a few seconds. Do not force it. Let the material interaction speak for itself. Step 4. Observe carefully. Examine both the stone, the sandpaper surface. Use strong light if possible. How to interpret the results. If the stone shows no damage, no scratches, no powder, no dull surface. This is a strong indication that the stone could be a real rough diamond. If the stone gets scratched or produces powder, white or cloudy dust appears. Surface becomes dull or damaged. The stone is not a diamond. It may be quartz, glass, calcite or another mineral. Mixed results. Some stones are very hard, but not diamonds. Passing this test does not guarantee authenticity. Common mistakes to avoid. Using fine sandpaper, too soft to test hardness. Pressing too hard may chip the stone. Testing polished or valuable surfaces, relying on this test alone. Remember, this is a screening test, not a certification. Why this test is not 100% accurate. Although diamonds are the hardest material, other minerals like moissanite, corundum, sapphire, ruby can also resist scratching to some extent. That's why professionals never rely on a single test. Best tests to combine with sandpaper. For better accuracy, combine this method with light refraction test, fog test, breath test, density test, magnification 10x loop, UV light test. The more tests a stone passes, the higher the probability it is real. Final advice. The sandpaper test is simple, cheap, easy to perform at home, useful for beginners. But it should always be seen as a first step only. If you truly believe you found a rough diamond, the final confirmation must be done by a professional gemologist or certified laboratory. Conclusion. Testing a rough diamond at home using sandpaper can help you quickly eliminate fake stones and focus on promising finds. While it cannot replace professional tools, it remains one of the most effective early stage identification methods available to anyone, anywhere. <laughs>
बैर नमो